December 1st of last year, off-duty Arinda police officer Rick Duval is the first on the scene of a horrific crash at the Lucas Valley exit off 101 in Marin, a car impaled by a guardrail. I was blown away uh, that he was even still alive, and I just felt helpless at that point. I knew he was going to die. The car had spun out on the wet highway. The driver's door hit the end of the guardrail. It sliced through the car and the 45-year-old man. While I was on scene, he passed away, and that was very hard. This is what should have happened. The guardrail should have buckled on impact, shown here in a test by researchers at Texas A&M. But Caltrans crews made two serious mistakes. First, the guardrail was installed perfectly straight. The end is supposed to flare out four feet like this one, so the curve deflects the car away. Second, there are not supposed to be any washers on posts two through eight, and this is why. Tests by the federal government found that without washers, the bolts pop loose on impact and allow the guardrail to peel away. Dr. Malcolm Ray headed a national study on guardrail performance. If the washers are uh, on uh, inappropriate uh, bolts, it makes the rail uh, too stiff, and what can happen is it can actually spear through the vehicle like a, like a knife going right through the automobile. Just look at what happened to an East Bay woman. Sabrina Bauman was driving about 20 miles an hour trying to merge with traffic on this Castro Valley on-ramp when she hit a guardrail. I thought I just hit a bumper of this guardrail and instead um, my leg was cut off. I looked down and my whole leg's cut off. Even at such a slow speed, the guardrail sliced through the wheel well and into the car. Bauman is suing the state for negligence. Her attorneys argue Caltrans crews ignored their own guidelines when they installed the guardrail she hit. Why the state of California has consistently refused to comply with very simple design criteria is a question that I really can't answer. Caltrans argues that the danger from faulty guardrail installation is minor. Should our people spend the time going and checking guardrails rather than doing something else that's going to be, do, be doing a lot more for the safety uh, on the highways? And, and, and we've determined no. But as far back as 1980, the federal government realized there was a problem. The guardrails were being installed incorrectly. They sent Caltrans this memo warning that eliminating the four-foot flare or adding washers could negate the safe operation. Caltrans says it's now installing a new, better guardrail and that any repairs to the old ones are being done correctly. But that's not the case with the guardrail that injured Sabrina Bauman. Caltrans crews put it back together with the same mistakes. They installed it the exact same way it was. Exactly the same way. It is that way today. Same story at the Lucas Valley crash site. The guardrail is straight as an arrow and washers are installed where they shouldn't be. In fact, we found faulty guardrails all over the Bay Area. The result? Guardrails that are supposed to protect drivers and their passengers end up slicing and impaling them instead. The fact is we have very safe, safe highways. <clears throat> so, and I think if people are concerned about guardrails, you know, don't hit them. That's the, <laughs> that's one thing. Uh, even though people do make mistakes, and sometimes they even make uh, uh, silly or, or uh, stupid mistakes, but that doesn't mean that they should uh, have to be injured in a crash or die in a crash. Or have a minor fender bender turn into a major life-changing accident. I used to walk a lot. I was in aerobics, and I can't do that. Dancing was my favorite thing. I can't do that no more, you know. At the Lucas Valley crash site, there are still remnants of a memorial. And every time I go by it, I think about that, that day and that morning, and it's, I think it'll be with me forever. It was, it was probably one of the most helpless feelings I've ever had in my life, watching somebody like that just pass away right in my arms.